Well, exactly 9.30 and 02 seconds. You hooked on to the only truly live station of the nation. 91.9 Friends FM. Frequency Friends Key. Well, this is Jimmy on the hot seat all the way to 1 a.m. And lots of excitement today. Because we've kind of got into the open. Uh, we've got into the work profile. Uh, people are slowly getting a hang of the new normal. Well, right now with me online, I've got an amazing gentleman. Mr. Willie Balta, the Chief Commercial Officer, Indigo. Well, Mr. Balta has worked in the airline business for over 35 years, and trust me, he knows what it takes, he knows how to go about with it, and he knows how to make a total difference in these trying times. Uh, well, uh, uh, Mr. Balta, a warm welcome to your 91.9 Friends FM. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yes, I can. Thank you very much indeed, Jimmy. It's great to be on your show this evening. Uh, very thanks for the invitation. It's a pleasure to have you, sir. You know, it's, it's, it's what a wonderful, uh, you know, the way Indigo has been going about with it. By the way, I regularly fly Indigo, and I think one of the finest services, one of the finest hospitalities, always on time, and it's truly a pleasure to fly Indigo most of the time. I generally do that. Well, thank you very much. We, we certainly try our best to look after our, our customers. And as you probably know, we're now India's largest airline after uh, nearly 14 years. Um, so we're very happy, um, and especially in this, this difficult time, to be uh, flying again. We, we've got about 300 flights a day now. Absolutely. Um, and uh, less than it was, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we're going to get those back up. To yes, the absolutely. Let me tell you guys out of there, super rocking. But I'm just curious, uh, Mr. Balta, uh, is um, during the lockdown of two months of lockdown and maybe slightly over two months, how did you occupy your time? I know you've been very busy kind of getting things organized, kind of ensuring that, you know, on the digital mode, every kind of thing gets worked out, uh, plans, reinvent, reinventing, rebooting, everything was happening. So did you do anything special during the lockdown, maybe with a little spare time? Um, well, I've been in Gurgaon for, for that period. Okay. And uh, yes, there was quite a lot of work to do. In fact, one of the things um, we accomplished was we converted a number of our aircraft uh, to fly cargo only, um, okay. where we were able to put cargo into the cabin. And we flew over 100 uh, missions, some of which were for the government, flying uh, essential supplies around the country, and then others of which were international, um, so flying vegetables, for instance, for the Indian community uh, in the Middle East, uh, from, from Kerala, from Cochin, and wow. from Andrum. Uh, and then we've flown uh, medical equipment, PPE, from China uh, into India, uh, and a whole host of other, other tasks. So there was quite a lot going on. Um, and then in my spare time, I, I, I love to read. Um, and actually, one of the books I read was uh, History of the Indian Air Force. <laughs> okay. Um, which uh, you know went back to the 1940s and the genesis of the of the famous Indian Air Force and, and how they were involved in, in Burma and so on. So um, you know, both professionally and, and personally, um, I, I, I must say it was an interesting time. Uh, but we're delighted now to be back uh, flying uh, properly, as it were, with uh, scheduled services and, as I mentioned, about uh, 300 flights a day. But, you know, at our peak, we were flying 1,500 flights a day, so we're, we're only at uh, basically around 20% so far. But that will gradually uh, improve, we hope, over, over the next few months. Absolutely. I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to get into proper resumption of work. And as we've just started the new normal, you know, in fact, I happened to see a couple of pictures of the first Indigo flight which started about some time back. And I was thoroughly impressed with the safety measures you all have undertaken. And, you know, because all passengers, you know, are a little tense, a little scared to fly, wondering how safe it is. But what I saw was totally unbelievable. So tell me, you know, in these new normal times uh, for the airline industry and for passengers who are going to fly, what kind of measures have you all taken? Well, we've worked very hard um, over the past couple of months um, with the airports in particular, as well as with our own teams, uh, to try and give uh, our customers the confidence um, and the trust that they, they won't catch the virus if they're flying uh, within India on, on Indigo. 
Um, so some of the things we do, uh, we disinfect the aircraft uh, before every departure. We spray clean it after every arrival. Every night we deep clean all the surfaces in that in that aeroplane. Um, of course, we provide a safety kit in terms of mask and visor, uh, which we encourage people to wear uh, on board. Um, and then we also have in all our aircraft, we have something called a high efficiency particulate air, or, okay. or a HEPA, the HEPA filter. And these filters, um, which are a feature of all modern aircraft, basically recirculate the, the air every two or three minutes and clean the air and are able to take you know, nasty viruses and nasty particulates out of the air. Um, so we hope that people you know, will understand that you know, we, are, we are taking every possible measure um, to make sure that their journey is a safe one. Um, unfortunately, we've, we've had to discontinue for the moment our um, snack and meal service and serving drinks on board. Um, but again, this is intended uh, to give people you know, the minimum possible sort of contact um, person to person and, and to make sure that uh, you know, everything is, is, is uh, de-risked as, as possible. Our crew, of course, wear um, full uh, protective equipment. Um, and uh, we also do things like uh, when we are taking customers to the aircraft on our airport coaches, we make sure we only fill them 50%. Okay. And with the airports, you know, we've uh, enabled basically uh, a no-touch sort of check-in um, so that we ask all our customers to web check-in before they arrive at the airport. Um, we even, uh, in very quick time, introduced uh, bag tag printing so customers can print their own bag tags at home, bring them to the airport, and, and we give them the key to put them on the, on the luggage. Um, and so, you know, we really have um, done a lot to try to make sure that uh, our customers you know, will, will, will come back and will feel confident and will feel trust in, uh, in Indigo. And you might have seen that we, we now uh, also have a, an advertising campaign, a promotional campaign, which has as its core line, you know, come, come and fly on a lean, clean flying machine. And that's what uh, we're, we're trying to provide uh, for, our, for our customers. Absolutely. This is truly amazing. And a big salute uh, to your entire team out there at Indigo and uh, for ensuring that every single measure of safety is adopted. And, uh, you know, people go with a peace of mind right from the time they enter, they check in, they move to the aircraft and inside the aircraft uh, a big salute to your entire team it's truly amazing willie i think i think it's 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 so fantabulous i think even uh, some of the international uh, airlines i would say in terms of in the other countries are not taking the kind of precautions y'all have taken and uh, definitely all of us in fact right now i'm feeling so relieved i think if i have to fly out in a couple of days i'm definitely going for indigo all out the kind of safety measures y'all have taken it's truly amazing hats off to you all once again thank you very much well we're very lucky we've got a team of very energized employees 28,000 of us and uh, as i say we're determined you know to get back to where we were in terms of carrying uh, you know, people around india uh, we used to carry about two lakhs a day um, we're currently carrying uh, close to 40,000. so there's one way to go um, but we, we'd like everyone to come and fly with us again. Um, and as I say, we're going to provide the safest uh, environment that we possibly can to make sure everyone's confident Absolutely. in getting on the airplane. Absolutely. And uh, uh, Willie, uh, if I could uh, tell you to give a lovely message, we have the entire city of Joy, Calcutta, across the airwaves listening to you, as well as... Uh, a lot of people on Facebook Live are hearing you at the moment. So I would love you to give a message to the city of Kolkata and the world right here on 91.9 Friends FM. Well, it's a very short message. I just encourage everyone to come and fly uh, Indigo's lean, clean, flying machine. And you won't be disappointed. So yes, 
and I think truly, you know, the experience Indigo will give if you haven't yet taken an Indigo flight and the kind of measures they've taken, I think it's truly fantabulous. It's so nice to hear the kind of precautions, the kind of measures, the kind of safety and the kind of comfort feeling you all have taken. It does give us that oomph to actually catch a flight and get back into the good old days of flying, which I'm sure will happen. Uh, but Mr. Balter, thank you so much. It's been such a such a pleasure uh, talking to you. But, you know, as before we end this conversation, we've got a beautiful message from the CEO, Mr. Ronajoy Dotto Indigo, and I just like people to hear this out. Hello, this is Rona Dutta, CEO of Indigo. As we take to the skies again, we want to assure our customers that our Airbus aircraft are equipped with state-of-the-art HEPA filters which ensure the cabin air circulation is virus-free. We would like to welcome all our customers to our lean, clean flying machines. Well, that was the CEO of Indigo, Mr. Dronojoy Dutta. And uh, Mr. Balter, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for explaining to us the effort in terms of safety, sanit sanitization, and of course, uh, uh, the comfort of the passengers. All of us look forward to flying Indigo as we move into the new normal. And uh, once again, a big salute and God bless from the entire team thank of 91.9 Friends FM. Thank you very much, Jimmy. It's been a pleasure talking to you this evening. It's been a pleasure talking to you, sir. Enjoy your, your next flight with us. <laughs> Definitely. I look forward to that. In fact, you know, what I'm going to do is if when, when next time I get into Indico, uh, which will I'm surely be very, very shortly, I'm going to ensure that I do a Facebook Live on my walk-in on a personal level and let people know that, wow, Indigo is truly rocking. Thank you so much. And uh, to you and your entire team, God bless. Okay. Thanks so much, Jimmy. Take care. Good night and have a beautiful weekend. God bless. Well, uh, that was uh, Mr. Willie Bautler, the Chief Commercial Officer, Indigo. And of course, you also heard the CEO of Indigo, Mr. Rona Giordotto, uh, giving his message. Right now, Lady Anne Sachs, this is a beautiful version of You're My Heart, You're My Soul. And this actually goes out to Indigo with lots and lots of love from everybody because the kind of safety measures you all have been taking, it's truly awesome.